Hey John, uh, how was my bear? It's good, yeah, yeah. it's good, uh, always nice, um, nice bit of sun, so a uh, good couple of days away. Um, yeah, coming back, ready to continue where we left off. Obviously, last game of the group stage, obviously you want to end in style if you, if you can, I mean, you at the mercy of what, what's happening elsewhere, but looking forward to it and just looking forward to hopefully, you know, rubber stamping the group stage with another win, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I said, we're looking to continue where we've left off in, in the league and, and the Europa League this season. Um, we have the opportunity to win the group, um, as you said as well. It depends what happens elsewhere, but we, we want to take care of what we can take care of, and, and that's making sure we get the win tomorrow. And, and how, how, are you, how are you finding things? Obviously, you know, you've been, been on the bench recently, but hopefully coming in tomorrow and you're feeling, feeling sharp? Yeah, um, just prepare as I always prepare, try and be ready um, and uh, you know, do the best that I can for the team and for myself and hopefully that will be enough for tomorrow. But um, you know, we've got a, a, a really good squad um, as you've seen over the course of a couple of years so um, we're confident with, e with each other and uh, that we can get the job done. John, you've, you've played three out of 29 games uh, that Wolves have played this season. Talk us through the life of a, of a goalkeeper waiting, waiting in, the, in the wings. Um, yeah, frustrated. Uh, you know, it's, I want to play football, but you know, when, when you've got someone like Rui in front of you, uh, he's playing as well as he's played. Um, there's not much you could do but other than take care of yourself and making sure that he's getting himself prepared and, and you're doing what you can for him as well leading into the game. So, yeah, like I said, it, it is frustrating, but at the same time, it's it's life. Um, I'm not the only second choice goalkeeper in the world, and um, there'll be many more to follow. But it's uh, opportunities like tomorrow that, that give me a chance to to keep fresh. And um, you know, I was disappointed with my last performance against Villa in the cup. So hopefully, I can bounce back and, and have a better one tomorrow. 33, John. Um, how how important is it that you? get regular football you're at contract at the end of the season can you tell us about what you know what what you think the future holds for you um honestly i i don't know uh, we take it as we always have under under nuno uh, game by game day by day and that's how we work you know that's a conversation for closer to the end of the season between myself and, my, and the club and we'll see where we're both at but as i said for the time being you know i need to make sure i'm focused i'm ready uh, for when i'm called upon but i'm also doing the best that I can to, to help the lads who are playing. John, how difficult is it, like, you know, because obviously you play and then can go two months without a game, um, to kind of keep focus so when you do come in, uh, you know, you are ready to kind of put in your best performances? Um, I think once you, it's the old cliche, isn't it? Once you step over the white line, you know, you, you're so accustomed to doing it that um, I, you, both, you think it becomes second nature. Um, you know, I've played a lot of games in my career. Um, I want to continue playing for, for as long as I can. Um, and, uh, you know, every game is important for me um, and important for the team. And, and tomorrow's no different. Uh, we want to, as I said, we want to stamp our authority within this group and, and hopefully get the job done our end. And, uh, and the other result falls our way as well, hopefully. I know it's obviously frustrating for you because you don't, it means you don't play, but how impressed from a goal, goalkeeping, uh, goalkeeping perspective have you been by Rui's performances this season? Oh, it's been excellent since he's come in. Um, you know, his, his CV and, and his career speaks for itself. Um, you know, it's been great to work alongside. Completely, uh, completely different to anyone I've ever worked with before um, in terms of the way he does things. But it, it's very, very interesting and, and quite clearly it works for him. So it's been great to work with him, great to learn from him. Um, you know, he's a, he's a good, good guy as well. Um, his English is getting a lot better, which is good. Um, so yeah, it's been really good to watch and, and as you've said, some of the performance has been exceptional, so long may that continue. Without wanting to probe too much, can you give us a little insight into the different things that he does that you haven't seen before in the goalkeepers? Yeah, just um, it's very goalkeeping specific, so I don't want to bore you too much, but certainly in his, in his set position and the way he, he adjusts himself to, to refocus his, uh, in his set position, if you like. Um, you know, he works very close to his line, closer to his line than anyone I've seen. But with, with the speed of his feet, you know, he can, he can afford to do that. You know, someone like me, I, I wouldn't be able to. So, it's, um, again, it's, it shows the difference in the art of goalkeeping. Um, and it's something that he's, he's very good at. Hi, John. Because you 
perhaps playing not playing as much as you would like. When you step over that line, do you, do you feel in a way a bit more pressure than when you're playing every week, if you see what I mean? Because you're in there and you've almost really got to make it count, haven't you? Um, in a sense, I, I think so, yeah. I think, you know, it's um, it's one of those things. It's If you go into a game and, and you perhaps don't have the performance you want to, to have and you don't play as well as you, as you want to, you might then have to wait two months for your next opportunity so as I said against Aston Villa you know, I was disappointed with, with that performance from myself and, and for me it was if I looked at the fixture list I'd say right well I was going to have to wait until the FA Cup in January to try and rectify that um, thankfully I've got this, this game tomorrow um, but you know that when you're not playing as often you don't get five, six, seven, eight games in a row to, to put it together and, and really get into it if you like so you know, but I, I'm confident in my own ability. You know, I've had a, I've had a very good career, um, and you know, I'm I'm hopeful that it will continue for many more years as well. But you know, we take it as I said, one one game at a time, and and that starts tomorrow.